Now, this is the part of the holiday that I love the best. It's the shopping, and of course, shopping in Asia is fun, it's exciting, it's colorful. Top tips for getting a good bargain, start early. The first sale of the day is supposed to be good luck, and you should pick up a good price. Go in at about 40% of the asking price, and don't forget, number one tip, keep a sense of humor. It's only a couple of dollars to you, but it might be dinner to someone else. So, um, how much is this? One thirty. One thirty. You're killing me. Prepare to be dazzled by the sheer array of souvenirs, t-shirts, jewellery, arts and crafts on sale and the haggling prowess of the locals. The night markets in Siam Reap are lots of fun. So what have we got here? What's this? Tamayi. What's this? Cobra whiskey. Cobra whiskey? Yeah. And what happens? What? Do you drink it? Yes. Okay, and I do happen to know that you're supposed to drink it to uh, give yourself extra <laughs> good powers at night time. So I don't know what'll happen if you drink this. But be careful with what you can and can't bring back into Australia. While Southeast Asian economic powerhouses Thailand, Malaysia and Hong Kong are better destinations for label shopping, air-conditioned shopping malls are springing up in major centres across Cambodia. And it seems like everyone is getting in on the air-conditioned action. So we've been out for a big day of shopping and here we are with Judith. Judith, tell me, what do you think about the shopping in Cambodia? Oh, the shopping is great. Um, the markets are so colourful, lots of people, lots of locals. Um, there's so much to buy, t-shirts and bags and shoes, artworks. And what have Everything. you bought today? What's this? Show me. Well, I, I like to buy um, paintings by local artists. And um, this is actually was done by a, a, a disabled artist and he supports his family by selling his paintings. And I thought it was just special, a local theme, um, something to remind me about Cambodia when I go home. Handmade crafts are a good buy here, including silk, which is manufactured locally using traditional methods passed down from generation to generation. Now, if you want to learn more about where your silk pashmina came from, you can visit a number of silkworm farms outside major centres and see the little guys responsible in action. The colours are absolutely amazing and you know you're taking home an authentic Cambodian product. Now, most people like to keep in touch with home by email these days, but if you do want to use the snail mail and you want to send something a little bit special, how about one of these love postcards, which are handmade by Cambodian kids? You can buy them at most city hotels, and money raised goes to keep the kids in school. Can I send those to Australia? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Now we all like to feel the sand between our toes from time to time and this tour of Cambodia offers lots of opportunities for R&R. From the beachside chic of Sihanoukville to the massages and facials at a fraction of the price you're going to pay at home, make sure you leave enough time to let this amazing country wash over you. For beach lovers, Sihanoukville is the spot to head for and our tour ends here with a couple of days relaxing on the white sandy beaches, sipping the odd icy cold Cambodian beer and watching the world go by along the boardwalk which is aligned with seafood barbecues. If you like massage, you have come to the right place. It's available anywhere and everywhere. Now, some people might find this a little bit confronting. This is massage by the blind, and blind people in Cambodia, either through birth or who've developed blindness and haven't had appropriate medical care over the last two or three decades, now make a great living performing massage, and it is absolutely amazing. Now, Rosemary, we're talking relaxation in Cambodia. What have you done to relax on this trip? Well, I've taken advantage of all the massage places around um, and I'm really like I was saying, having hand and foot massages are my very favourite and I was really pleased to see that the streets are just lined with foot and hand massage places. Um, average is probably about $5 for an hour um, versus an hour at home would be $80 an hour. And here's yet another group that will be more than happy to have a go at your tired and aching feet. That is a really bizarre experience. Those feet are going for it. I don't know about you guys, when you've been walking around temples all day long, the last thing you want to do is go near someone's feet. But these fish are loving it. Oh, that's weird. Here's our cameraman resting his feet. It's 
been a hard day at the temples. You know, if you're tired of trekking around temples or shopping in the markets and you just want to cool off, why not visit one of the city's hotels like this one, the Angkor Village. You can pay between $5 to $20 to use their pool. It is so worth it. Oh. You know, if you want something just a little more traditional, you might want to come down here to the banks of the Western Barai outside Siem Reap and you can cool off from this scorching summer sun with the locals. And the best bit is, this is absolutely free of charge. Well, if you think this tour ticks all the boxes on your holiday checklist, jump online for more information, geckosadventures.com. Well, sadly, that is the end of our tour of the magical kingdom of Cambodia, and it has been amazing. Don't forget to join us next time and tour the world with us. See you then.